Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my Halloween Decorate With Me 2020 and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I do do lots of Decorate With Me's, seasonal decor, shop with me's, and anything like that. So feel free to check. And for all of my other subscribers, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and let's get on with this video. So this is basically all of the things that I will be using from this year's purchases. So I have the pillows and I did get this garland the last time I went to Dollar General. And in this bag I have other items from different stores, Party City, Target, and Dollar General. Here is my Halloween tote. I do color coordinate my totes when I can. And these are my items that I have from previous years. I absolutely love this pillow from Target. So I am going to take out all of these items out. And my dining room table is currently being used for virtual online school. So I will have to put all of these items out on the floor. So this is what I'm working with. I have the Day of the Dead, which I don't think I will be putting now because that's until the last few days of October and beginning of November. I do have some outdoor decor like those fright tapes. So I try to group things by pumpkins. As you can see, my toddler is already over there playing with some items. And I have things from Walmart like these pillows. Target, Party City, I have things from Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Honestly, all of the items here are mostly under five. Maybe one or two things cost around eight dollars. And that's why I like to do my shop with me videos because you can definitely find things that are affordable. So the only thing I'm going to do is vacuum really quickly. My house is clean. I did wipe down everything and clean everything beforehand to not make this video really long. So I am just vacuuming and I am removing my fall pillows and taking the tickets off of these new pillows. And you will see my toddler walking around during this video. He was very interested in the decor and my nephews as well. One tip guys, be very careful when cutting the tickets off of these Walmart pillows because of the pom-poms. You have to get really close and I was so scared of cutting a pom-pom off. So take your time. If you have any questions as far as where I got some of the items, feel free to ask me in the description box. I'll try to get to you. I'm sorry that this scene is out of focus. My toddler fidgeted with my camera, but here I noticed and I fixed it. So this is the banner from Target and I'm just putting some bats on here. So I decided to go upstairs in my bedroom. I do have this dresser up here and here is probably the place where I knew what I had in mind beforehand. 
because I have lots of things that are delicate made out of glass or ceramic and I thought that here would be a good place where my toddler can't easily reach them because this dresser is tall and I was inspired by my Nicholas Flamel glass jar I found at Dollar General so I decided that since most of the delicate things are potion bottles and things like that witch brews that everything would combine so that's kind of like the theme I am going for here and by doing this section first it definitely helped me plan out the rest of the house downstairs because the majority of decor I loved, I put here in my bedroom for me to enjoy. And right now it is daytime, but that October 31st bottle does light up. And here is my dubby from Harry Potter next to that Nicholas Flamel jar. And I really love how all of these items incorporated and it kind of inspired me to maybe do a Harry Potter theme next year. I do have a bag of skulls so little things like this help you fill some gaps. And definitely I like that the tree from Target, I did get it last year, balances out with the same height as my tear tray which is from Hobby Lobby, if you are wondering. These are some lights that I got from Target's Bullseye's Playground Dollar Spot last year. It has lots of different potion bottles and witch brews. So I thought that it fit well with the theme going on here. And I did close the curtains a little bit to give you a glimpse of how it will look in the dark. I do have to get some batteries for that white light up jack-o-lantern but I really love how this came out. And now I am going downstairs really quickly. I am just dusting off the staircase and I am going to be putting some of that fake spider web. And don't mind the papers on the wall, those are for virtual school. Here I am just putting some fake spiders. And I think I might buy a bigger sized spider to put in the middle. Because I do have only small ones. So I think that would look nice to have one in the middle of a bigger size.
I am taping some of these fake spiders from Target and some from Dollar General along here. I will be putting some more when we get closer to Halloween. The top two spiders are the design from Target and these are the ones from Dollar General so they are different. Here is a closer look at the one from Dollar General and they do have this one which reminds me of the Spider-Man spider. So here is a look of how this turned out and again I think a bigger spider there in the middle would look really cool. The closer we get to Halloween I will be putting more spiders on the back wall of the staircase going upward. Ignore my vacuum guys, here is the entertainment area. The kids do have their PS4 here and they like to sit up front. So I don't want to clutter this area too much. I do have my hand sanitizer which I'm going to cover with that sign. And I do have the trucks from Dollar General. I kind of wish they were mirrored. You know, one going this way, one going that way. But I thought that I would use one and one. And it's funny how things work out because one says boo. And I have that pumpkin that says boo. And the other one matches well with the other truck. So I think it came out really nice. So if you are new, you probably don't know. But currently and temporarily, my nephews are living here with me because one of them has asthma and my sister is an essential worker so I am doing a favor of letting them stay with me just for the time being. Above the TV I have this shelf and I decorated following those colors of that sign from Dollar Tree. I did end up moving that pumpkin and putting this cauldron up here. I did hang up this banner from Dollar Tree and this trick or treat sign is from Party City. It was $1.99. On this side table, I was inspired by that sign that says Elm Street. So I did add more of those scary quote unquote items and here I definitely used more of those black and white colors because of that Elm Street. I did put that pumpkin in the back for a pop of color. Those fake body parts are from Walmart if you are wondering. I do have to get new batteries for that small lantern. It is from Dollar General last year. And as you can see, if you just put a gauze on the bottom of your decor, it changes up everything. On the opposite side, I do have this table here where I always have my essential oil diffuser. So this part is always kind of tricky to decorate because those two items take up half of the space. But again, I do want to put things here that are a little bit lighter, that are not as delicate because of my son. And I thought I should put this crate because that E of the beware sign was kind of hidden but I'm not really sure I'm going to keep this like this. I did put that sign from Dollar Tree of the stacked pumpkins to give it more height and kind of be balanced. So here's just an overview really quickly of how things look.
This sign from Dollar General is going to be my inspiration. These are the jars from Dollar Tree that I was talking about in my previous videos. I did wash them beforehand and I just dried them really quickly. In the one that says pick your poison, I will be putting these cookies from Target. And I will be putting some gummy worms and gummy bears in this one that says death by candy. So this section, I do have more of a kid-friendly type of vibe. And the kids really loved this table here. So I do have Vampire Mickey and I do have Witch Minnie. So most of these items are more for kids. As you can see, they are smiling and cute. And this is a haunted house that we painted together last year. So they were kind of giving me tips as to how to put these items because they love decor just as I do. So this took me a little bit. It was kind of hard to see how to accommodate everything. As you can see, my son is already taking things. So at the end, I used the technique of balance to help me out. So since Minnie is a witch, I used those legs. They are the same height as Mickey and Minnie. And on the top shelf, the haunted house and that tag sign, trick or treat yourself, are the same height. I use these Dollar Tree rings to add a little accent here and there sometimes. So for example here, I wanted to add more purple because of Mickey and Minnie's dress. So it's just a little accent piece. The kids really loved how this turned out and I wanted to include this clip. This is the reality. My son here is adding more things to decorate with. This I did do off camera. So this is just a candy corn garland from Dollar General last year. I did end up using these signs here. I wanted to use them on the doorknobs but the string is too small. And in the cubbies, I just put some things that are not as delicate. And I've always said that the easiest way to decorate some bare walls is of course with some cute signs. And like I already said, Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead is celebrated until the last few days of October and the first week of November, so I will do this at a later date. In the kitchen, I am just going to be putting this Halloween towel. It is from Dollar Tree last year. And I do have a kitchen mitt, so I did put most of my fall decor away. I just forgot to put this away and uh, use the one on the right to cook. You can see it's 
beaten up. So I just switch up the ones on the left for my festive decor only. This is the door I mentioned in my haul video. So this is for the kids. They enjoy doing this with me. So here is my son. He loves putting all of these window decals. This door leads to the back of the house to the storage room and the backyard and my nephews did go along and do this off camera they had so much fun in the bathroom i don't really do as much because of bacteria of course so basically what i just do is i change up the soap dispenser to a festive one so i did have that pumpkin that you saw in my fall decorate with me and i am changing it to a ghost bottle and the kids love that and that is the end of this video i do have to make dinner it's almost six o'clock so i'm going to make this outro really short and sweet i hope you guys enjoyed it and remember it doesn't have to be picture perfect or expensive glamorous as long as you and your family the kids most importantly enjoy it that's what's most important so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in my next video if you are new please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for new videos and i'll talk to you guys in my next one love you guys goodbye